Hi guys, welcome to the day one of learning Unreal Engine. So let's start without wasting the time. Now, as you guys can see, I have opened the Unreal Engine website here. You can see it's unrealengine.com and you can see there are some really good works that you are seeing right now. It's used for virtual production, for games, 2D animation. So if you go downwards, you will see Unreal Engine right now is used for games, mobile games, uh, film and TV, broadcast and live events, animation, simulation, automotive, architecture. We are going to create some really good uh, scenes by the end of the series here. So without any delay, now let's just download the launcher. So in order to uh, install Unreal Engine, you need to have Epic Games installed in your computer. So if you haven't done it and it's your first time uh, learning Unreal Engine and you haven't uh, installed Unreal Engine yet. So just click on download launcher and it will download Epic Games here. You can see it's getting downloaded here. Once it is downloaded, you just need to double click and install it. Once you have installed Unreal, uh, once you have installed Epic Games, you will find something like this here. For the first time, you will find a store here. So it will not be Unreal Engine directly. You will be having this page here where you can see there are lots of games and all that stuff. But we are not interested in it right now. We are going to directly go to Unreal Engine. So in order to use Unreal Engine, you need to click on Unreal Engine first. Then the new tab will open. So you can see store and Unreal Engine both are separate here. Here is the library in which you have your games that you have purchased or you have got for free. Here you can find all the news related to Unreal Engine. So you can see there is weekly spotlights. There is featured content. There are some free contents which are available through May 6th so you can grab them it's a limited time offer okay I'm going to show you how you can download them as well there are some tutorials as well which you can learn here as well okay so you can view more blog entries here as well now you have a sample file as well so if you want to download some Unreal Engine content which you can use in your project you can do that as well we are going to do that in the future coming days so you will get to know how you can download and install them then you have the fab library here so first it was unreal engine marketplace now it is called fab library okay then you have the library tab here so it will show you the unreal engine versions that are installed here right now okay so i am using 5.5.4 which is the latest unreal engine version then you will find the project tab so if you haven't used unreal engine this is your first time using unreal engine you will not find any projects here because these are all the projects that I have already created here. Then you will find the fab library. So these are all the content that I have purchased or that I have got for free from Unreal Engine Marketplace. So you will find all of them here. Okay. So you can see there are lots of contents here and you can directly add to the project or create the project or install to the engine depend on the plugin you are using, what you are using in the from the fab library. Then you will find the twin motion tab. So this is a whole another topic. Now they have improved twin motion really good for architecture visualization. You can do blueprints directly in this, not blueprints, but you can create uh, interactive walkthroughs in twin motion now. And then there is a reality capture, which you can use if you have, uh, if you have took lots of photographs of one place, let's say a castle here, then you can scan and just create a photogrammetry out of it. But we are right now interested into Unreal Engine. So now again, go to library here. And if you haven't uh, installed any version, you will not, you will find here, which will be empty. So you need to click on the plus icon. Now click on install. But before doing that, make sure that you have the latest version, which is 5.5.4. We are going to use that. And maybe uh, till we complete the series, maybe 5.6 is launched. 5.6 is having some really good things, which we are going to talk about as well. So let's just click on install. Now before installing, you will find this tab here. So let's say if you are having a good SSD and you are having like a one TB space and you are having two drives C and D, then I would prefer don't install it in your system uh, where your system is loaded. Let's say Windows 11, uh, install it in another folder, which is uh, install it in another drive, which is having some space. Uh, in my case, it is going to G drive. Okay. And before clicking on install, this is the tip I'm going to give you guys, which will save you like 40 GB. Yes. So just click on options before clicking on install and just scroll downwards. And here by default, this all will be turned on. So you can see required storage space is around 72 GB. 
and download size is around 22 GB. So just make sure that all this is turned off. Okay. And now you can say it's only around 38 GB and your download size will be around 14 GB. So you are saving like 30 GB space here. Okay. Just make sure to do this. Okay. Before clicking on install, then click on apply and then just click on install. It will take some time to install uh, Unreal Engine depending on your system. Now, in order to use Unreal Engine smoothly, I would recommend a RTX card. Maybe it can be a 20 series, 30 series, 40 series or latest 50 series. I am right now using a 4070 Ti Super, which is a 16 GB card. So I haven't faced any issues yet, but I have used, I am, I have used Unreal Engine before my system on 1660 Ti laptop. I'm still using, in fact, in 1660 Ti laptop. And there is a bit lag, but it's working really smoothly. I cannot use part tracing because it requires RTX. Now you would be wondering what is part tracing and what all these things are. Don't worry, we are going to cover it. So let's just move now. Let's just, when you have done the installation, you will find something like this launch button. So just click on launch. Now, depending on your system and uh, GPU, it will take some time to load the Unreal Engine window. Once it is done, you will find a new tab. So let's just click on launch and wait for that window. Okay, it will show busy. This will close and your Unreal Engine will open. And then Epic Games again will relaunch. Okay, so let's just wait for a few seconds. And now you can see it's uh, loading here. Okay, Unreal Engine is getting loaded. Now, if you are installing Unreal Engine for the first time, it will take some time to compile some shaders depending on your GPU again. Uh, so if I when I was working on 1660 Ti, it was taking some like 10 to 15 minutes to load. And the template that you select takes another 20 to 25 minutes to load on my 1660 Ti. But in 4070 Ti Super, it is really quick. Okay, now as soon as you do it, let's just maximize this. You will find a recent project tab here. So all your recent projects will be here. Again, if you are using Unreal for the first time, there would not be anything here. Then you have the game templates that you can use. There is a first person shooter template like Call of Duty. Then there is third person like GTA. Then there is a top down version, handheld AR, virtual reality, vehicle game template. Then you have a film video live event template server, blank, virtual production, DMX, in-camera, VFX, motion design and display. Then you have architecture templates. Now all these templates have certain things in common and certain things which are automatically loaded when you load the template. So let me just give you an example. Let's say if you are uh, creating this third person template by default, uh, part tracing and all that stuff are not turned on. But if you take a film video template by default uh, part tracing is turned on if you take architecture template by default part tracing is also turned on but you also get the lumen reflection quality to 2048 so that's a really good thing so depending on your project that you are working if you are going for cinematics i would recommend this blank template for film and video if you are uh, into virtual production again the same thing but if you are in Go architecture, you can take the ArcWiz template. That's a really good starting point. If you are doing uh, some automotive visualization, again, you have product configurator and all that stuff. But let's stick with this film, video and live events. And before clicking on create, you need to specify a folder here. So make sure that whichever folder that you are using, the drive that you are using is having some space around 50 to 60 GB because uh, Unreal projects, uh, technically takes lot of uh, space when uh, when you add lots of assets mega scans models and all that stuff so make sure that you have like uh, around 80 to 100 gb space okay so i have just uh, in the g drive created a folder called open world youtube so let's just uh, browse it and create a new folder you can do that as well let me just do it quickly for you guys so here i am going to create a new folder Let's just name it to first day. Okay, so we can monitor our progress as well. Okay, and here you can name your project name as well. So I'm going to name it to first day as well. And here you will find a starter content. So starter content basically is a, a template library that has some materials, some props and some things that you can use. Okay, so we are going to take this on right now. But let's just take this off. We are going to do it afterwards. So I'm going to show you the way that if you haven't, if you have forgotten to take the starter content, you can add it later 
on the later stage as well so let's just click on create now this is the thing guys it is going to take some time now if you are using unreal engine for the first time again it is going to get stuck on like for 35 to 40 and it is going to compile like 10,000, 8,000, 9,000 shaders and depending on your GPU like it's if it is 4 GB or 6 GB uh, GPU it is going to take some like 15 to 20 minutes if it's 8 GB it's going to reduce to 15 minutes if it is uh, 12 GB or 16 GB depending on that it will load in 2 to 3 minutes or maybe 4 minutes so it totally depends on your GPU and your CPU but here in Unreal Engine GPU is a must and you have so and you need to have at least 6 gb of a graphic card nvidia graphic card to run it smoothly okay as soon as you open it you will find this window now i am not going to stretch it much much i am going to show you the basics here okay then we are going to continue on the day two because i want to create a short series that beginners can follow easily okay so let's just uh, go here and right now you can see there are lots of tabs here now don't worry they are really easy to understand if you are coming from any dcc app like maya 3ds max or maybe blender this is really easy to understand okay so uh, up above you have your toolbar like file edit window tools build select actor help okay then you have some really uh, nice tabs here like create if you want to quickly create something you can do it from here okay you have your sequencer so if you want to create animations we use sequencer here okay then you have the perspective view top view bottom left now in 5.6 this is going to be totally uh, revamped so you are going to get a new ui in 5.6 so that's a really good thing so when 5.6 is out i will maybe make this intro video new intro video so you guys can follow if you are watching it after five to six months when 5.6 or 5.7 is out okay so just go go here you will find a content drawer now this is like a folder structure uh whatever you want to import whatever you want to export whatever you want to create like materials uh maybe uh, blueprints all of things are created in this content drawer okay so now you can see we have this uh, content drawer and here right now there are two folders content and engine. Maybe you cannot see the engine because by default engine is turned off. Okay. So you would be thinking okay from where I can get this engine folder that you are getting. So it's really easy just click on settings here and here you will find a, a tab here which is your show engine content. Just turn this on and you will find the engine. So now you can see uh, this engine folder is now available. Okay. Then you can see there are some filters as well, which I have already done. So let me just reset the filters as well. So filters are going, uh, going to be covered in the next video. This is a really useful thing. If you have like lots of assets, it's a really good handy, uh, handy tip that you can use. Okay. Always use the filters. This is my tip. Always use the filters because it's really easy to filter out when you have like hundreds of assets, hundreds of materials, and there are lots of folders like 50 to 60 folders. This becomes really easy. Okay. Now let's just click here. And on the right side, you will have an outline. So if you are coming from 3ds Max, you have a layer system where you can see all the hierarchy and all that stuff, all the stuff that are used in the scene. Okay. If you are coming from Maya, you have outliner. If you are coming from Blender, you have that uh, system which is on the right side. So this is the same thing. You can see we have atmospheric fog, floor, instance, foliage, actor, light, player, start, sky, spear, skylight and all that in our scene. So if I hide and unhide the floor, you can see what is happening. And below that, you will find all the properties related to the object that you select here. Okay, so let's say if I select the light source object, you can see the properties related to that. If I select the floor object, you can see the properties related to that. Okay. Now in Unreal Engine, the objects that are basically uh, objects that are like cube, plane or maybe models that you have imported are all called static mesh actors. Okay. So you can see uh, the name that are written here. Atmospheric fog is called atmospheric fog. Okay. Uh, light source means directional light. Uh, that sunlight is called directional light here. This is our uh, player start blueprint. Okay. Then there is a sky spear which is used for HDRI. Then there is a skylight which is used for the sky system as well. You can see it here as well. Okay. And then there is a reflection captures which captures the reflection. 
but don't worry we are going to cover each and every tab in detail in this next lecture we are going to learn how you can move in unreal engine how you can rotate and all that stuff right now don't worry about anything just make sure that you have some folders here okay ready before moving on to next lecture so let's just click on this content and let's just create a new folder here so we are going to work in a structure manner let's just right click and create a new folder and let's just name this folder to let's say our uh, my first project okay and we are going to use this first project so let's say you want to continue on the day two uh, of learning unreal engine then you need to save this label okay so next time when you open it you have that level saved so let's just create a cube quickly let's just go to our shapes and let's just create a cube okay just to show you how you can save so let's say you want to resume uh, from day two after this so you need to open your scene here so here you need to save the level so here we don't call it scene we call it levels here okay so it's simple just go to file save all and it's saved here it's saved in the name of main okay but if you want to save it as you can go to file and you can save current level as and i'm going to go to my first project here i'm going to create a new folder again and name it to levels and here in the level folder i'm going to name it to my first project okay and let's just click on save here this is done uh, we are going to cover only this in first video in first day in second day we are going to cover how you can move rotate scale the objects how you can import the objects how you can uh, how you can use the content drawer to use the filters how you can uh, create some folder structure how you can create some basic objects how you can create some new levels okay we are going to cover all of that in day two then we are going to continue this series like in day three we are going to uh, go for basic materials then in day four we are going to go for some basic lighting then from day five we are going to start creating some scene or level that you can proudly say after the day six end that you have created something so we are going to do that and after that i'm going to continue this series for architecture for uh, game cinematics for blueprint so i have planned lots of things be with me um enjoy this videos okay so if you like this video and if you are first time here please press that uh, subscribe and like button comment that what you want to learn in unreal engine as a beginner so i can cover that as well okay i hope you guys enjoy this video i will see you next time till then share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine and are new to unreal engine i will see you next time bye bye guys